We begin in April of 2016 with Renamamiya, who was sent to Tokyo, Japan to stay with family friend and cafe owner Sojiro Sakura while attending Shujin Academy, a local high school, during Ren's year-long probation. After defending a woman from sexual assault in his hometown and being framed for assaulting the man responsible, resulting in expulsion from his former school. After Ren's arrival, he is drawn into the Velvet Room, a place that exists for the growth of users of personas, or physical manifestations of their inner psyches, that changes appearance depending on the current guest. For Ren, it takes the form of a prison, where he is a prisoner inside a cell, presided over by Igor, who appears as a warden, with his two assistant jailers, Caroline and Justine. Igor warns Ren that he must be rehabilitated to avoid a forthcoming ruin, and grants him access to a supernatural mobile app that allows him to enter the metaverse, a supernatural realm consisting of the physical manifestations of humanity's subconscious desires, and the palace, or area modeled after distorted perceptions of a real-world location, of Fusion's abusive volleyball coach, Suguru Kamashita. Ren meets a mysterious cat-like creature named Morgana, who informs him of the ability to change a wicked person's heart by stealing their treasure, the emotional root of their behavior and desires, from the palace ruled by their shadow, or subconscious, self. Ren assumes the codename Joker and, together with Morgana and his high school friends, delinquent Ryuji Sakamoto and fashion model An Takamaki, reforms Kamashita. Afterward, the group officially forms as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts, stealing corruption from the hearts of adults to reform the city, while slowly learning of a wider conspiracy to influence the hearts of all the people in Tokyo. Joker befriends Kasumi Yoshizawa, an accomplished rhythmic gymnast who transferred to Shujin at the same time as him, and who awakens to her persona while exploring a mysterious palace they discover nearby in Odaiba. Takto Maruki, a school counselor hired after Kamashita is exposed in order to offer support to the students, speaks with each of the Phantom Thieves in private sessions, learning their deepest wishes. The Thieves are joined along the way by prodigy artist Yusuke Kitagawa, whom they help to reform as corrupt teacher Matarame, student council president Makoto Nijima, who is initially assigned to spy on but instead joins them after being blackmailed by criminal boss Kanashiro, Sojiro's adopted daughter, the reclusive computer hacker Futaba Sakura, whose mother was killed as part of the conspiracy, sending Futaba into a depressed state, and corporate heiress Haru Okumura, who rebels against her billionaire father's attempts to control her life and his mistreatment of employees. As the number of the thieves' members and successes grows, they attract the attention of both the public and the police, including Makoto's older sister and public prosecutor, Sai Nijima, and teenage detective Goro Akechi. The thieves are framed for killing Haru's father by a mysterious assassin with a black mask, who is mentioned by their other targets as they confront them. Pursuing the conspiracy, the group is joined by Akechi, who convinces them to change Sai's heart. After infiltrating Sai's palace, Joker is captured by the police and interrogated by Sai. Akechi is revealed to be the assassin and attempts to kill Joker, but the thieves, having earlier discovered his treachery, implement a plan to trick him, using the metaverse to fake Joker's death. Aided by Sai and Sojiro, the thieves go undercover and deduce the conspiracy's leader to be politician Masayoshi Shido, who has been using Akechi's ability to infiltrate the metaverse to remove obstacles from his path to become prime minister in order to impose his reforms on Japan, as well as being the man who originally framed and pressed charges against Joker in the assault case. When the thieves infiltrate Shido's palace, they face Akechi, who reveals himself to be Shido's illegitimate son and explains his involvement in the conspiracy as part of his plan to get revenge on Shido. Once defeated, Akechi sacrifices himself to protect the thieves from a group of enemies, allowing them to ultimately defeat Shido. Despite Shido's arrest and confession, the public's opinion of him remains largely unchanged, as related events are manipulated by his corrupt allies. The thieves make a seemingly final heist to infiltrate the depths of Mementos, the palace of the combined public's hearts, to steal the treasure at its core. Inside, they discover that the public's collective unconscious is in chaos and has chosen to give up its free will. The thieves are rejected from Mementos by the treasure itself and disappear from reality as it merges with the metaverse. Waking in the Velvet Room, Joker confronts Igor, Caroline, and Justine. Caroline and Justine regain their memories and merge into Lavenza, their true and complete form. Lavenza reveals that the current Igor is a fake, and is actually Yaldabaoth, the god of control, who imprisoned the real Igor. Yaldabaoth, who is the Memento's treasure made sentient, was created from humanity's wish to give up control and be free from suffering. Through a wager made with Igor over humanity's goals, Yaldabaoth had given Joker and Akechi their abilities to see the influence of their actions on society, steering the wager toward what it believed to be its own favor. Joker rejects Yaldabaoth's offer to return him to reality at the cost of his freedom, and after regrouping with the rest of the thieves, they all battle Yaldabaoth. Joker's allies, back in reality, rally the support of the public, rebelling against Yaldabaoth's control and allowing Joker to awaken his ultimate persona, Satanael, to destroy both Yaldabaoth and the metaverse. After defeating Yaldabaoth, Akechi reappears, still alive, and turns himself over to Sai in Joker's place to provide testimony in order for Shido to be prosecuted. 
A week later, on New Year's Day, Joker awakens to find reality distorted. Akechi was released without reason, each Phantom Thief has had their deepest wish granted, and are unaware of the distortion. Joker, Akechi, and Kasumi, all aware of the distorted reality, investigate the Odaiba Palace and learn that its ruler is Maruki, who is also a Persona user, able to alter reality with its power. Using Yaldabaoth's remaining power after its defeat, Maruki gained control over Mementos, along with its knowledge of the public's desires, determined to create a world where everyone's dreams become reality. Maruki reveals that Kasumi is actually her twin sister Sumire, whose reality he previously altered, causing her to impersonate Kasumi to cope with her death, and gives Joker time to choose whether or not to accept Maruki's idealized reality without conflict. Joker reminds the thieves and Sumire of their true lives, and they agree to change Maruki's heart in order to make him realize the error of his ways and revert reality to its original form. Joker learns from Maruki that Akechi is only alive in the altered reality due to Joker's desire to save him, and that if Joker does not accept Maruki's reality, Akechi will disappear. Akechi explains that he does not want to exist in a reality controlled by someone else, and Joker rejects Maruki's reality, resulting in the thieves battling and defeating Maruki the following day. Reality returns to normal, and with Akechi now missing and unable to testify against Shido, Joker turns himself into the police instead. While Joker is incarcerated and placed in juvenile detention, the rest of the thieves and his allies succeed in helping Sai secure evidence of Joker's innocence in the assault charge, leading to his conviction being overturned and his release. At their final meeting, having reflected on their rejection of Maruki's reality, each member of the thieves chooses to pursue their own future. On the day Izuda returned to his hometown, Joker escapes tailing government agents related to the conspiracy, with help from both the thieves and a reformed Maruki, who's now a taxi driver. At the station, Sumire finds Joker and bids him farewell just before he boards a train, where he catches a glimpse of someone resembling a catchy pass by his window as it departs. <laughs>